Shalom, Gracious. Welcome to Grace every morning. I'm Pastor Wilson, and I have the privilege today to lead you through Romans chapter 11. Now, the theme for this chapter is on God's permanent love for Israel, despite Israel's rejection of Jesus Christ. And this is where I would read from verses 11 and 12. It says here in verse 11 this, So I ask, did they stumble in order that they might fall? By no means. Rather, through their transpars, salvation has come to the Gentiles so as to make Israel jealous. Now, if their transpars means riches for the world, and if their failure means riches for the Gentiles, how much more will their full inclusion mean? Now, the passage clearly shows us three events that form a chain reaction one after another. Now, the first event was that through Israel's unbelief, salvation has come to the Gentiles. Now, the term Gentiles refers to anyone who is not a Jew. Therefore, as a Chinese, I am also a Gentile. Now, the second event is that as Gentiles receive salvation in Jesus Christ and have a relationship with God, it will make Israel jealous of this intimate relationship that we have with Yahweh. As Gentile believers provoke the Jews to jealousy, they will then return to God through Jesus Christ and be restored into God's family again. And this will then trigger the third event, the riches of God's blessings that will come upon the world through Israel's inclusion into God's family. Therefore, Apostle Paul believed that Israel will still be included in God's family and plan if Jews would receive Jesus Christ into their lives. Through these three events as recorded for us in verses 11 and 12, we can see a vital role that the Gentile church, you and I, must fulfill to see the riches of God's blessings upon the world. And this vital role is to see many more Jews coming to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. However, the challenge is that the Jews had experienced very severe persecutions under countries perceived to be Christian nations. Many Jews today have associated Christians as responsible for the Holocaust that killed millions of their forefathers. This historical hatred against Christianity is one reason or one of the reasons for the less than 1% of Jewish believers of Jesus Christ in Israel today. So what we can do as the Gentile church today is to help the body of Christ in Israel to reach out to their own race and their own people. I'm referring to recognized and reliable messianic ministries who have been laboring among the Israelis with proven fruits in their outreach efforts. Now, given that the Jews are an unreached people group, we need to pray and assist the Messianic congregations in Israel more than ever. Many of these congregations are under persecution from the Orthodox Jews. I've seen how Messianic congregations in Israel suffered vandalism on their properties and, and their pastors received threats on their lives and on their families. And furthermore, Israel has undergone three lockdowns in the nation since the pandemic started, affecting many Messianic congregations, both spiritually and financially. And I'm thankful that Grace Missions has done our part to reach out and help some of these congregations and ministries during this difficult time. And I want to lead us in a time of prayer for our brothers and sisters in Israel. And let's ask for God to enable them to reach out to their own kind and see many more Jews coming into the kingdom so that God's blessing can come upon the world. Amen. Come, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we ask for your hand to strengthen every messianic congregation in Israel where they will experience your protection and provision during this difficult time of pandemic. We ask that your uncovenantal love for Israel will awaken and draw them to know your son Jesus Christ. 
Let many more men and women come to encounter you and accept you as their Lord and Savior. Use the Gentile churches, believers like us, to play our role in helping and supporting our brothers and sisters in Israel. So Lord, we ask all this in Jesus' powerful name. Amen, amen, and amen. Now, before you go, do take some time to look at the reflection questions and apply the truth that you have learned today into your life. Join us again tomorrow online in our grace every morning. Have a blessed day ahead of you.